What's up guys, welcome to a new tutorial and today I'm going to show you on how to make an environment in Core. First of all, if you don't know what Core is, Core is a game engine built on top of Unreal Engine, which will allow you to create awesome games so 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 easily, with absolutely no code. And also it's totally free, so you can download it in the link in the description. Now with all that said, let's get started. Alright, so first of all, we're going to go into the Create tab and we're going to go ahead and create a new project. Now, um, you can start with any template that you like. Of course, we're going to do the environment from zero, but uh, you can get a template to get your character controller already up and running. So, for the purpose of this video, it's going to start with an empty sprite and just uh, name this an environment tutorial. Okay. So, now that we have the uh, level credit, you can see that we just have a normal plane on the ground and we can go ahead and hit play and move around. All right, so that's really cool. So basically what we're going to do is select this plane and delete it. And then up here where it says terrain creator, and I click it and generate new terrain. Now this is really cool because we have some uh, presets uh, with some, you know, patterns that we can go ahead and create. So uh, you can choose the one that you want. Now in my case, I'm gonna build a desert rocky because I think it looks really cool. And I will show you how to make a forest environment and a desert environment in this video. So really cool. So in here you have like the variables that you can change the voxel size, the terrain size, the scale, the offset, etc. For the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna leave it by default. But of course you can customize it as you like. And when I uh, click and generate, you can see that the terrain starts appearing and it's already looking really, really well. Uh, now if I hit play, you will see that the character falls through the ground and it's because we have to basically go ahead and change the um, spawn point. So in the hierarchy, we have the list of all the objects in the world, so just select it and let's go ahead and just move it up until the surface, just a bit up, and then if I hit play, now we are perfectly in the ground. So now go ahead and select the terrain, uh, both you can do it in the viewport or in the hierarchy and in properties what we can do is go into uh, paint and we can create a new terrain material now with this already there's gonna be applied a uh, some textures and a material that basically will detect the slope of the um of the mountains and stuff to change the uh texture in between so that's really looking really, really well now uh let's add some grass over here so just select foliage and then add foliage and then we can just search for grass. I like this grass tool, so you select it and press done and you have some grass over here. So you want to uh, you know make more grass appear. What you can do is just uh, in the distance between instances make this for example 3 and there's now much more grass and you can just press play. You can see it looks really really nice. So let's go ahead and add some trees. So just go into terrain and foliage and do the same. Add foliage, search for tree a bit down and let's for example let's put the um tree oak just place it on and you can see they have a lot of trees now there's too many so click on them and the distance between them is put 25 and will enable a collision so the player doesn't go through and there's many more things that you can basically go ahead and change for example the local set offset i'm gonna place a minus two so they're a bit under the ground so the rules doesn't appear to like so much and you can just play with a lot of settings and are really looking really, really well. Now, um, you can place different types of trees. For example, you can start back here, go into foliage, and make this tree only appear, um, you know, not a lot. So 75, for example. And then add another tree that will be more small. So for example, the tree rebel small, add it. And this one, make it like 25. Uh, so now there we have some more variation on trees. And really will look really really cool you can just go ahead and press play and start walking around the um the environment it's really cool also let's enable you know the uh here in the small the collision so we cannot go through that one and there we go we have some really cool details in our world already so the next thing i'm going to show you is basically how to um paint some paths for example so you can just go into the paint option over here in the terrain and let's go ahead and find where the spawn point is which is here i was spawn uh facing that way so you can just select the train go to paint and we can select another material um for example we can paint this kind of snow material i believe it is 
Uh, now you can go ahead and select it and click on edit materials and you can change the material base into another one. Now this will change the whole environment. So for example, you want to make a desert, just go and select sand or sand waves, the one you prefer. And then you would basically just go ahead and remove the foliage like this, like this, and like this, and you will basically have a desert. So you can basically customize it as you want, and also the footsteps, I believe, they change dynamically um, depending on what they are. So that is really cool. Now let's go ahead and uh, just paint a small, small path over here. You can see how it's appearing, and you can customize it as you want, and you can see that when I start painting all the trees, they go, they disappear. So that's really cool. I really have this. Now you're gonna learn how to make combat mechanics. I have a video on that on Core 2, so you're gonna uh, go ahead and check it out. I have the link in the description. Okay, so now uh, let's go ahead and add some fog and some more cool stuff. Um, so basically, just go into the default sky and you have different stuff over here: the sunlight, skylight, sky dome, etc. So, for example, we can go and change the intensity uh, of the sky over here to make it more uh, vibrant or more dark. So you play with the settings that you want to have, and also the, the light intensity. And also we have the option to change the sound size over here. And you can basically customize it as you want. Uh, also the sky dome, you can delete this for example, and we can go into core content and search for sky. Now you will see that we have a lot of different skies. So for example, the sky morning, just drag it into the scene. And there we go, you can see that now it looks really, really cool. And I really like how it's looking. And now you can also change, for example, uh, in between the skylights and that. So we can delete this too. And we have basically the skylight over here because it has its own you know, lights and stuff. And you can also change the rotation. So to make different things. So for example, make the angle a bit more like this. And there you go, you can see how it's looking. Now for me, I think it's, it's a bit too early in the morning and stuff, so I'm gonna go ahead and add a, a sci-fi one, and you can see how it look. Or for example, a sky overcast, you can see how it's like, um, like cloudy and stuff, and sky paradise planet, you can see also how it looks. So you can play around with the settings, and I think this one looks pretty, pretty cool. So yeah, uh, now let's import some stuff, for example, some NPCs, yes, save. So in here we can go into NPC. Uh, da, da, da. Here we go. We can just put, for example, a skeleton swordsman over here, so he will be ready to attack us. You can see already how it is looking. Really cool. Now we have an error, saying that we need some stuff. So go into here and search for the combat dependencies. Drag it into the scene, and you can see. How when I go closer into him, he will start attacking me. So that's really cool. And you can see how the environment is already looking. Now you can, one more thing, you can go ahead and start painting and sculpting terrain to get what you want, which is really, really cool. And also you don't know what they did before. It just, we have the community content pack, uh, on tab, sorry. And you can import a lot of cool assets that other people have basically done. For example, here I'm saying there's a really cool car. So for example, I could just import it into my project that easy. Then go into core content and you see here, which is the car. And I can just basically drag it into the scene. There you go. Press play, go to here and then press F and hop in the vehicle. And literally that's it. This is so, so freaking cool. And I mean, I didn't code anything or whatever. I just press import it and just drag it into the scene. And it's really looking really, really cool. So you can go ahead and play around uh, with, you know, all the things that you want to have in your project. And I'm just saying there's a lot of cool stuff. Now, have in mind that there's always going to be, you know, some errors as you just drag a lot of things into the scene. So, for, uh, for example, here we're getting a, uh, a reference error from the set player default camera. Um, honestly, right now, I'm not really sure. Of what is happening okay but yeah um, basically have in mind that uh, there's errors that can be that can appear basically so you can add uh, a lot of different stuff plants and stuff to make it look 
even better so you know just add foliage and there's no plants but yeah uh there's a lot of things that you can basically add for example cactus things like that even coral stuff <laughs> even though uh, we are in the forest but it can be a bit fancy and you can see we have if we go here and there we go and that will be it for this tutorial guys if you enjoyed the tutorial and found it helpful i really appreciate it if you like the video and subscribe to my channel a lots of uh, tutorials like this ones and also of unreal engine 5 so if you want to check them out go ahead and now with all i said bye bye